Today, I'm visiting what can only be described as the world's worst flea market. A flea market so bad, I'm told the organizers didn't even show up to. It's raining, it's cold, there's hardly any vendors here, but I'm on a mission to find profitable items to flip on eBay, and I'm not leaving until I do just that. Given the conditions we're facing today, my goal is to find $300 worth of value for my eBay store. Wish me luck, I think I'm gonna need it. Beautiful. Beautiful, mate. Amazing. Thank you, Thank you very much. You too. So there it is there, guys. We are officially underway. I spent $10 on this haul, and the first one here, we've got the Logo Board Game, the second edition. This one actually goes anywhere between $50 to $60. It's a ripping find. I've only paid the $5 to get my hands on it. So that's something you guys should be looking for. A couple of video games as well here. Skate 3 on the Xbox 360, just $2.50, should convert into $30. That one was complete with manual as well, which always helps. And then Forza Horizon 3, again, $2.50 into about $35. So about $110 worth of value. Mm -hmm. How you doing, mate? Hello, mate. Good. How's things? Yeah, <laughs> weather, a, ridiculous. weather aside? I didn't even think it was supposed to be on today, and I was thinking. Yeah, I know. That's, that's all we reckon. But anyway, we're here now. I'm surprised you're allowed, so. Yeah. She's got those ones. Yeah, you sure? Thanks, no, just there. Where was it? Sorry? Just yes. there. Five. No worries. How much on the book? You're all right. It's 10 for the collection. 10 on that one. Yeah, okay. Yeah. No worries. Thank you. Would you do five on the book? I'll take that for five. Um. Should you do eight? Eight? Yeah. Let's do eight. Okay, thank Done. you. When it comes to these jeans, guys, I always look for this sort of an inner patch on the short pocket. Um, that there just tells me that there's a better chance that these are authentic. Also too, you wanna look for the little markings here on the back button. You can see a Levi Strauss there on the, uh, on the button piece at the back. So again, that tells me that this one is most likely to be a genuine item. A lot of, lot of rip off Levi Strauss um, items out there guys so you just have to be a bit a bit curious and, and make sure you're looking for the right things uh, a waste of a 52 inch um, that's pretty good too that should go on to sell pretty well the other one as well was this one here this knotty book now hardcover uh ina blighton as well really good author i've gone ahead and picked it up for eight dollars should convert into about 35 so 13 dollars spent there into about 70 bucks it means now we're up to 180 dollars in overall value How much on the shoes? 20 bucks. 20? Should you do 15? Yep. Well, we'll give you 20 back then. <laughs> Thank you, you sir. Appreciate yeah, that. All good. Well, here's something I didn't think I'd say today, guys. A very, very good pair of quality trail running shoes here, the North Face. These are the Ultra Endurance XF, and there was some comps on eBay around about that $50 to $60 price point. Given the condition of these, I'm actually gonna shoot for the stars and go $65. I actually think I'll get it as well. Um, if you're new to the channel, shoes make up about 15% of what I sell on eBay. I think it's a very good category for beginners to focus on. <laughs> What are you doing on them? Uh, we wouldn't do anything less. What do you reckon, Rosa? Well, the guy said he wanted 80 bucks for them. So you work from 80 down and see how you go. Yeah, okay. 80 bucks on the boots. Well, yeah, give us an offer. Oh, they're really good. Harriet's a really good brand, too. Yeah, of course it is. Um, of course it is. How about 50? 
No, you've got to go up a bit more. The guy said he wanted 80, so ah. we sell him for 50. We've got to give him 80. Mm. Oh, he wants 80. Yeah. You're, you're giving him 80. Well, so you're trying to go over. Says, he said they're worth 150 if they're worth a Zach. Ah, right. So that's why he wants 80. Okay. Oh, that's fair. Someone will come and buy them. They have good shoes. on this one mate two bucks two bucks i'll take it 4x ashtray that's 4x ashtray that's good gear related stuff is always good yeah. jeff buckley he's are you a fan uh i can't say i am Dad, mate. Jeff Buckley's dad? Yeah. His dad was amazing. You know? He was amazing. And you know what happened to him? What? He went for a swim in the Mississippi River. Never, Never found again. Dead set. Oh, they found him. Oh. Like a boat went past. Jeff Buckley or Jeff Buckley's dad? Jeff Buckley. Jeff Buckley. Yeah, I wonder what's really that sad. what's that worth? How much on that one, mate? $2. Two bucks. I'll do that. So I ended up getting these Corona Extra WSL surfing hats. There were two of them and I got them both for $5 and they should sell for about $25 on eBay. So that was some really good value. This dangerous book for boys, I've sold it a few times before. So that was um, obviously what helped me when I spied it out in the wild. Um, this one could, it should go for about $35, a really good hardcover book. Um, pretty sought after by guys on eBay. Um, and then Playboy as well, this one here, just a $15 game, but it was complete with a good disc. $2, I had to go ahead and grab it. No, it's not leather. It's not leather, but still, it's worth $5. Is this complete? Do you know, mate? That is it. That is it. Your monopoly complete. Vinyl. With the Sibley, so it should be. How much you got on it? I think you want some. $5, mate. $5 on it. Yeah. I like the wood. It's a good buy, yes. I got a All right, let's do that. Yeah. I agree. This was an absolute gem. Monopoly, The Simpsons, you can never go wrong here. We're talking about $60 to $70 worth of value, and I just got it for the five. It's good to be home, guys. Well, all things considering, guys, I'm absolutely wrapped with what we are able to achieve today. It was no more than maybe an hour and a half out at the local flea market, albeit a pretty bad one, but I was able to pull away 12 items for my eBay store here. I've spent just $52 today, and that works out to an average purchase price of just $4.50 per item. And I've actually gone ahead and spent the last hour listing up all of these items into my eBay store. And all of the value of these items worked out to $393 and I'm gonna be trying to sell it for. You've obviously got to pull out the fees, the post, and those cost of goods at $52 uh, before you see your actual profit. But turning $52 into $393, it's going to be some significant profit at the end of the day in this lot. It's not my best day at the flea market. It's also why I wanted to produce this video today to just show you that even on tough days, you can pull obviously pull out some goods like I've done here. I'm going to leave you with this video though right here, which was a really good day that I had at the flea market. And hopefully you can go over and enjoy that one. We'll see you over there.